Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. Right, we have a bit of a treat for you today. I've been playing around a bit more with the uh, Node MCU, and I've also been playing around with, I did review once before, the Amazon Alexa. Wait for that to time out. The time is 5.54 p.m. Right, so what I've actually done, just the standard Node MCU, as I showed you in the previous video, which was about £4, and a relay module, which I think was actually cheaper than that, I can't remember now. Now, the connections is very simple. We've, we've uh, nicked that 5 volts to power this. And the ground, which so this the brown is the ground, so they're connected, and we're using D1, 2, 3, and 4 from the uh, ESP8266 straight to the relay contacts here. And we actually found a sketch online, can't take any credit from it. Uh, the chap that invented it was what's his name? Let's have a look. Kako Papa, uh, and he's done a Wee, Wemo emulation uh, for these. So this thing thinks it's a, a, a Wemo device. And this, the basic sketch that he's done is available on GitHub. It can actually address all the 14 outputs of one of these things. I'm actually just addressing the four relays in this sketch, which I will post in the link below. So without further ado, let's get a power bank and see if we can get this to work. I'll just wait for this to boot up. I mean, once it's booted up, all we got. Oh. Don't know if it's booted up or not, actually. Let's power on. I'll tell you what, I will do. I will actually plug it into a, my computer over it because I know that supplies on. Right. Let that boot up. What I'll do, obviously in the sketch, as before, you put in your your ID and password for your router. It basically does everything else. Right, let's, let's try. Let's see if we can actually link these. Alexa, find devices. Starting discovery. This can take up to 20 seconds. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on your bridge. Okay, hopefully it's looking for devices. Um, we should find four, which is the four relays. I'm hoping. Discovery is complete. I found four smart home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Okay, it's been found. It's found four devices. I know on my network I've only got these four. And in the sketch you can call them whatever you want. I've called them Relay 1, 2, 3, 4. I can't remember which is what. There is associated LEDs here. And to turn them on, you'll, you just say, Alexa, turn Relay 1 on. Okay. Alexa, turn Relay two on okay Alexa turn relay four on okay Alexa turn relay one off okay Alexa turn relay three on okay 
Alexa, turn Relay 3 off. OK. Alexa, turn Relay 4 off. OK. And Alexa, turn Relay 2 off. OK. OK, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's running. The sketch to run this is you know, going to be posted down below and you can edit it and do anything like that but yeah please give old Kako Papa a, a, a visit at github and uh, thank him for this wonderful uh, bit of coding he's done and like I said you can actually uh, code, code uh, up to 14 the digital IOs with this so it's things that I need, need to look a bit more into maybe I can combine this with me temperature humidity uh, spec I did the other day and uh, you know basically be able to uh, ask uh, Alexa oh, I knew it would pick me up let's just switch you off ah it's gone off uh, Maybe I, I can ask it what the, the temperature is in a certain room. But, I mean, that's going to be for a future project. Hope this was useful. As before, I'm not going to go through any of the coding. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory, the actual text and the notes that have been put in the sketch. So, have fun. Uh, for under £10, you could automate anything. I mean, you could actually drive solid-state relays with these instead of standard relays uh, so you can yeah control anything you want okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll do a bit more research see if we can get that temperature humidity actually uh, onto the system as well many thanks see you soon